The new hands-free Tennessee driving law goes into effect today. So what does that mean for you? We certainly want all our students and staff and the general public to be safe. So here's what you need to know. All right, I'm joined by Lieutenant Scott Moore of the Wilson County Sheriff's Office. And uh, Lieutenant, this law is designed to reduce distractive driving accidents, but what should drivers know about this new law? Well, the main thing about the new hands-free law, which is not a very popular one right now, but it's just <laughs> something that, uh, you know, had to be put in place, but there's, there's three uh, main functions of distracted driving. And one of those is visual, mm. manual, and cognitive. And obviously the visual is something that takes your eyes off the road. Mm -hmm. uh, manual is something that takes your hands off the steering wheel. And right. cognitive is something that takes your mind off what you're doing. So distracted driving involves all three of those functions and it's just geared to, to make you concentrate on driving. And and uh, I know as far as uh, I looked at a statistic while ago mm -hmm. and it said more than 60% of, of teen crashes involve distracted driving. So it's just something that you know, we want to keep everybody's safety and welfare in mind when doing this, so it's just important to make sure that you don't have anything in your hand while you're driving and concentrate on the road. Well, from countywide enforcement to right here in the city of Lebanon, I'm at Lebanon Police, and it's PJ Hardy, a sergeant with the police department here in Lebanon, and thank you so much for joining us. And, and Sergeant, really, this new law takes the phone out of the driver's hands, but what are some alternatives for drivers as this new law takes effect? You know, I think the main thing to remember is just that it's a, from a safety standpoint. So um, you are allowed to uh, touch the phone to activate a call mm -hmm. or deactivate a call, but it has to be hands-free. So some of the technologies out there, most of your newer vehicles have um, uh, units in there that can um, uh, be Bluetooth, mm -hmm. and so you can connect hands-free that way. You can buy devices, go down to your local electronics store, um, Walmart, all of them have the uh, all these new devices that you can use. Um, you can use earbuds. The only thing we recommend with earbuds is is if you have both sides in, you may not be able to hear the traffic and, mm -hmm. and some of the outside noise. Um, that could pose other dangers, so be careful with that. Um, but you know, just uh, and again, it's not that you can't use your phone. You just can't use your phone while you're in a driving mode. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have to use GPS. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely uh, allowed to do so. But just pull over, enter in your location, and hit that, that start button, and then just follow it from there. So, um, and, and reminding, too, that just because you're stopped at the light doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you can get on your phone and start texting as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, you, it, you have to be in a parked position uh, in order to do that. But um, there's there's lots of different ways to, to get around. If you have any questions or whatnot, call us here at the police department. We've got lots of uh, information that we can share with you. I'm here with Mount Juliet Police Chief James Hambrick. And uh, Chief, it's no secret that cell phones they cause distractions and that leads to disaster in some situations. I guess the simplest way to put it is put the phone down, right? Correct. And uh, these are gadgets, uh, as I call them, <laughs> gadgets. Uh, we have become so used to them and attached to them. So I know that with this new law, uh, it's going to be problematic for some, especially our teenagers that, I mean, you don't hardly ever see them mm -hmm. uh, disconnected from these mm -hmm. devices. So. Uh, for the safety of our citizens, whether it's other motorists and um, our pedestrians, mm -hmm. uh, our cyclists, different things, we want everybody to remain safe. And uh, especially, you know, when you put it together with young drivers, inexperienced drivers, and that's just another mm -hmm. um, component to um, the uh, dangers that we see out on the roadway because um, uh, inattentive driving is a big uh, cause for crashes, and I know in the Mount Juliet area. Well, I spoke with Tennessee Highway Patrol as well, and their message is pretty clear. This law will definitely be enforced on interstates and state highways. As far as citations that can be handed out for any hands-free violations, well, penalties are pretty stiff. As fines could go upwards to close to $200 and a big blemish on your driving record. So let's do our part, Wilson County Schools. We strive for excellence in all we do. That includes right here behind the wheel. I'm Bart Barker for Wilson County Schools. Stay safe, everyone.